Yes, uh, good evening. Am I audible to you? Harsha, Martin, okay, Alia is joining. Yes, Martin, where were you? Exams are going on. Yes, ma'am. All right. So solids we have completed. Mechanical properties of solids. Uh, mechanical of properties we'll start. So Martin, please take up the video lectures. Uh, I think, yes, in the last class only we have completed till poisons ratio. So entire lesson has been completed. Do watch the recordings, whichever portions have been missed because I think you were there initially. When we had started with the changes and deformities, you were there before Hooke's Law. I think you had attended the classes. So just take up the video lectures. Go through it. Any doubts if you are having, let me know. So it's good that you have joined okay, in today because we will be starting mechanical properties of fluids and see solids is a, it's an easy it's an easier lesson and compare it with the entire hydrostatics also or hydrodynamics also. Now, uh, see here, hydrostatics and hydrodynamics will be, we have divided the entire lesson into two parts. So in hydrostatics, you have certain portion pressure exerted by liquid column, gauge pressure, buoyant force, surface tension, excess pressure, capillarity. Then we talk about in hydrostatics, one thing that is, uh, there is that uh, we this is the this is that branch of physics which deals with the study of properties of fluids at rest. When the fluids begin their motion, we use the term hydrodynamics. So hydrodynamics under hydrodynamics you have Stokes law, fluid flow, Bernoulli's theorem, then application of Bernoulli's torsilles. Mm -hmm. All right, all the all these you have. So uh, hydrostatics we will be not using the terms like velocity acceleration because there isn't any movement by the fluid particle for us fluids are at rest right now so yes let's start with hydrostatics let's see it's a very lengthy lesson solids was a very short lesson this is a lengthy lesson you can see so many topics are there within this this is the main heading within this subtopics are there also so we'll start with hydrostatics hydrostatics is that branch of physics which deals with the properties of fluid at rest when uh, we are talking about an ideal fluid, ideal fluid means it is incompressible. So sometimes in the numericals, it will be given to you that an ideal fluid, some pressure is being exerted, some force is being. Also, one term which is common, which you must have done in your class ninth also, is pressure of the liquid. So see, suppose I have taken, I have taken a container. Within this container, I have put some fluid. Now what happens? These molecules which are present within the fluids, they have the tendency to move. So while moving, they collide with themselves also as well as with the walls of container also. And this way, this liquid column exerts perpendicular force on the walls of container. So this total perpendicular force per unit area, we call this as pressure of the liquid surface. So what is this force? This Whenever this force is perpendicular, that is making an angle of 90 degree, this is called thrust. This force has a specific name, which is known as thrust. This is not only applicable for fluids, you can use it for solids also, the term thrust. So here what happens, see, like these molecules which are moving, they are colliding with the walls of the container also and wherever perpendicular force is applied. So one meter square area we will take. One meter square is the unit area. So pressure of the liquid column is basically perpendicular force per unit area. SI unit is Pascals denoted by PM. So what is the pressure of the liquid? Total perpendicular or force or you can say thrust exerted by a liquid at rest on a unit area of surface in contact with it is called the pressure of the liquid surface. Now, uh, there is an application of pressure based on this formula. P is equal to F by A. So can you notice pressure is inversely proportional to area, right? P is inversely proportional to area based on this formula. So you have applications. These types of applications you'll find in the NCRT also. You can go through it once. Also, you must have done it earlier as well. So this says that uh, some applications I've already written. 
nails and pins have pointed ends see when the nails and pins have pointed ends pointed end these reduce the area so when the area gets reduced the pressure automatically increases so you don't have to apply a create a fold by yourself automatically the pressure will increase or second example you can take wide wooden or concrete sleepers are placed below the railway tracks so this increases the area so when the area increases area of the track this gets increases so pressure that is being applied that decreases over the train buildings have wide foundation same thing again the area increases the purpose is to increase the area it is painful to walk on road covered with pebbles having sharp edges because sharp edges are having lesser area small area is present so the force that is applied and in total the pressure that is applied over our self that is on our foot soles of our foot that increases so it increases the pain that's why it is painful to walk on roads covered with pebbles having sharp edges so this is the basic or you can say introduction to your lesson you will be dealing with fluid uh, mechanics so you uh, you have to have the concept of pressure ready in your mind we will be starting with atmospheric pressure now but first write it down then i'll discuss yes. further things
uh, now uh, when we are talking about the atmospheric pressure the atmospheric pressure that you have to remember this is see this is written like this p atm the value is 1.01 something into 10 to the power 5 so just remember 10 to the power 5 pascals this is the conversion into pascals because see this is the si unit so we have to convert every answer into it si unit so just multiply it by 10 to the power 5 whenever it's given in atm and also one more thing p atm is written sometimes p not is written this also represent atmospheric pressure see basically what happens earth is there there are different layers of the atmosphere so these atmospheric layers exert pressure mm -hmm. on themselves mm -hmm. so this pressure that is applied that is known as basically atmospheric pressure uh, one more thing that okay. when the fluids are at rest then why are they able to exert pressure because we are not talking about hydrodynamics fluids there is no motion in the fluid so why fluids at rest exert force or thrust on the walls of container so reason to it is that see the temperature at this temperature zero kelvin the molecules have thermal energy with them we'll study this in thermal physics also there's a formula for thermal physics so all these molecules at zero kelvin temperature they have thermal energy with them all these molecules which are present they are having thermal energy with them so their thermal energy basically is the kinetic energy in our system because of the vibration of all these particles this produces kinetic energy within them so because of this kinetic energy so once kinetic energy is achieved in your system the particles will move so due to this kinetic energy the mo molecules they collide among themselves also they collide <laughs> with the walls of container also so that's why a pressure is being exerted force is applied and force per unit area is what we call as pressure. We'll do pressure exerted by liquid column. Remember I told you this in solids that we'll be doing this in fluids. Uh, there's a proper derivation for it. Write this down.
Ma'am, so at zero Kelvin, the pressure is not exerted. Uh, yes, yes, at zero Kelvin, it's not exerted. So pressure, uh, exactly at zero Kelvin, all the molecules are static. Because there is no thermal energy. Vibrations, uh, vibrations do not occur in the molecules. Thermal okay. energy is basically our kinetic energy. So that's why it's zero. So temperature has to be greater than this value, zero Kelvin. Mm -hmm. Now the next topic, pressure exerted by a liquid column. So first, uh, I see, I, I think I've discussed the formula in solids also. So first we'll start with the derivation then we'll see the numericals. So this is a container, cylindrical container is there. Area of the cross section, this is A. Density of the liquid, it's rho. And height of the water column, not height of the liquid, uh, not, not the height of the container. See, this exactly is the height of the container and this is the height of the water column. So you will be considered just the height of the water column, water column or any fluid, because you are calculating the pressure exerted by the fluid. So height will also be considered of the fluid, right? Now, when we are talking about the forces, see, one force that will definitely be existing is the gravitational force directed downwards. This will be existing. Apart from this, Entire force that we'll see, the force that is being exerted here, no force is exerted above no, right now. No the force that is acting downwards, this is known as, this is the gravitational force. So pressure that is being applied, pressure is equal to force per unit area. So what is the force? Force is mg. So this becomes mg divided by area. Now see, Density is equal to mass by volume. Density is equal to mass by volume. Now, uh, mass will then be equal to density into volume. 
and what is the area of this liquid column? See, what is the volume of this liquid column? Area multiplied by thickness. That is how we find out the volume. So area is this, height is this, length is h. So what is the mass? C, density into volume. Volume is area into height. Area into height, rho a h. So pressure is equal to mass is rho a h. This is G divided by A. So see area, area will be cancelled. Pressure is equal to H rho G. P is equal to H rho G. This is the formula. So this pressure that is applied, this is actually known as gauge pressure. This we'll do it separately also. This we'll be doing it separately. This pressure is known as the gauge pressure. Pressure exerted by liquid or column, or you can say, you can say pressure, gauge pressure also simply you can say. Now, what is meant by the absolute pressure? Absolute, in absolute pressure, no, we take the entire pressure. So see, if this is open to the atmosphere, some pressure will be exerted by the atmosphere also, which is known as the atmospheric pressure, which we have just studied. So when we're talking about the absolute pressure, in this gauge pressure, there is addition of the atmospheric pressure. In this uh, absolute pressure, there is addition of the gauge pressure also. Fine, that is known as absolute pressure. So gauge pressure will be equal to absolute uh, atmospheric pressure minus absolute pressure. Though this we will be studying in detail also regarding gauge pressure. So this is the formula in solids which we used. Write it down.
the question says at a depth of 1000 meter in an ocean what is the absolute pressure so no answers till now martin siddika harsha absolute pressure see absolute pressure is basically atmo atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure atmospheric pressure is 10 to the power 5 this is h rho g gauge pressure so 10 to the power 5 plus height is 10 to the power 3 thousand density of water class again i am repeating density of water you people have to remember in cgs unit in si unit this is 1 gram per centimeter cube so this is also 10 to the power 3 into 10 so this becomes 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 7 this is the answer b part says that what is the gauge pressure so gauge pressure is this only gauge pressure is h rho g which is equal to 10 to the power 7 pascals only this is also this much pascals third part third part says that what is the force acting on a window of area 20 centimeter into 10 20 centimeter of a submarine at this depth its interior is maintained at sea level at atmospheric pressure lots of words are written you just have to focus on area pressure c force pressure is equal to force by area so force is equal to pressure into area so force pressure is 10 to the power 7 area is c 20 centimeter into 20 centimeter this is 20 into 20 centimeter so 10 to the power minus 4 into 10 to the power minus we'll convert this also no so this becomes force becomes uh, this is 400, this is 10 to the power 10, this is 3, this much of meters. Write it down.
now uh, before we start with uh, the youtube problems you uh, shaped you problems you have to understand the concept of relative density so see there is density of the body there is density of water density of water i have told you 1000 kg per meter cube 1 gram per centimeter cube it's written on the corner you can copy it down later so relative density is known as the specific density right relative density this is known as the specific density so uh, dense relative density basically means when you are comparing some density with respect to the density of water at 4 degree celsius this 4 degree celsius is not so very important for you to remember because you already know this value at 4 degree celsius so density the ratio of density of the body to the density of water at 4 degree celsius this is called as relative density for example if relative density is 0.8 i want to find out what's the relative density of the body so it will be 0.8 into 1000 that is 800 kg per meter cube like this so we will be using this concept in the next question write it down first ma'am it's divided by density of water right yes yes divided by density of water here um, i have multiplied because i have multiplied these two okay
See, this question says a YouTube consists, uh, contains water and spirit separated by mercury. So see if, let's say, this is the level of mercury. So here mercury is present. On one edge, there is presence of water. On the other edge, spirit is present. So what are the heights given? Water, see this is water. This is, this is spirit. This is mercury. Then it says in level 10 centimeter and 12.5. This is 10 centimeters. This is 12.5 centimeters. Now see, basically what happens, pressure exerted by the water column is equal to pressure exerted by the spirit. Fine, whatever is the pressure that is applied over here. Why is this equal? Why am I seeing this statement that pressure exerted by water column is equal to pressure exerted by spirit? Because see, if let's say the pressure is more on water side, so this will push it downwards and the fluid will come out from spirit. This will raise it. If the pressure is greater from the spirit end, then this will push it and it will come out from here. If this is hydrostatics, it means both are balanced. So the pressure is also equal. Now, what is the formula of pressure? Atmospheric pressure plus H. Uh, rho g. So height of water, density of water is equal to pressure, atmospheric pressure plus h rho g, height of mercury, uh, not, not mercury, sorry, spirit, the other liquid is spirit. Spirit and height of spirit. See, P naught, P naught will be cancelled. Then uh, g, g will also be cancelled because h rho g is equal to h rho g. So GG will also be cancelled. So GG cancelled. So finally, we have to find out specific gravity of spirit. Look here, specific gravity of spirit is divided by water. What is left? Height of water by height of spirit. That is 10 by 12.5, which is 0 0.8. Write it down. One more question we'll see based on this only. This is clear to you because uh, the next question is linked with this. Martin, Siddhika, Harsha, clear? Um, specific yes, gravity is the ratio. Specific gravity is the ratio. Specific See, specific gravity of the spirits. Specific gravity is the other name for relative density. And relative density is density of the body by density of water. So density of the body, that is density of spirit divided by density of water. Clear, Harsha? Okay, ma'am. Uh, Siddhika, you were asking something? No, ma'am. Okay.
Ma'am, what will be the unit? It's unitless because density, density, kg per meter cube, both will be cancelled. Okay.
See, in this question, it's just that 15 centimeter of water and spirit each are further added in respective arms. All right, so we have to find out what is the difference in the level of mercury in the two arms and density of mercury is this time given. See, this separate they are separated by mercury. Now they, it's just that there is an increment in the length of water. It was for how much? Uh, 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters, no. Uh, how much was the length of water? Yeah, 10 centimeters. So 15 added, 25 centimeters, this will become. Same thing will occur with spirit also. So now the length is 27.5 centimeters. Now the problem that is there, there is a level of mercury increment also. So, this there will be a pressure exerted by the mercury as well. This we do not know the height though. So, what is the question saying? What is the difference in level of mercury in the two arms? It means somewhere it might, how do we know that the level of mercury has risen? Because of this line, the difference in mercury, it means somewhere mercury has risen up because of addition. That's why there is a gap that is occurring. So, basically, you need this height of mercury. Now, pressure exerted by water column here this will be equal to see here this is the here the level is same but there is some addition over the spirit side so what we'll do pressure exerted by volt water will be equal to pressure exerted by spirit plus pressure exerted by mercury so water is what P not see, P not the addition is on the spirit side because see it's given in the question that's why we have assumed look in the previous question a 15 centimeter of water and spirit each are further added in the respective arms fine uh, right, let me show you. arms of the tube what is the difference in the level of mercury in the two arms. Fine. It means this is giving you a hint that level of mercury has risen somewhere. Now the question is whether this will rise towards here or towards here. Now what happens is that pressure is directly proportional to the height of liquid column. So wherever the height will be more, there the inclination of mercury will be there. If the inclination of mercury is by chance occurring on the opposite side, that will be mentioned in the question. Since nothing is mentioned, so we have to assume the fact that this is rising towards the spirit because the length is greater 27.5 centimeters here it is 25 centimeters the length has increased so that's why because the pressure is exerted atmospheric pressure will come here this will push it in comparison to this see these both the pressures are equal wherever height is more there is the inclination of mercury occurs over here this is because, no, uh, if you go by the chemistry, this is because of the property of mercury. The property of mercury tends to move towards the higher altitude. That's why we have assumed the fact that mercury is inclined towards there. All right. Otherwise, otherwise, uh, not for this question, I'm saying in generally the figure is given to you. Because this rule is not applied everywhere. This is not a universal. This logic we have used in this question but it's not universal because it can happen that the pressure is increased somewhere and the mercury inclines towards this side. So that is also a possibility. But since nothing is mentioned, so you will assume like this only. Otherwise, in the figure, it will be specified to you either by the figure or it will be mentioned to you in the question that the mercury has risen towards water side or spirit side. Clear, Harsha? Okay. Okay. So see, uh, P0 I'm cancelling because I'm not writing P0 will be cancelled anyways. H rho g of water, density of water. Then again, H rho g, height of mercury, density of mercury. Again, H rho g is of spirit. So, g will also be cancelled. So, height of water. Basically, we are left with height of water into density of water plus height of mercury into density of mercury plus height of spirit into density of spirit. So height of water is how much? 25 centimeters. 
zero point two five only. I'll write density is thousand is equal to height of mercury. This is our task to find out density of mercury is given thirteen point six into ten to the power three plus height of spirit is twenty seven point five. So that becomes zero point. Two seven five uh, plus density we have already calculated in the previous question at zero point eight. Usually the density is mentioned since this is a linked question. In the previous question it has specified. That's why we are using this data. Otherwise you are not allowed to use any data of any question. We are using this specifically because we have this is giving you a hint that use it from the previous question. So from here you have to find out this. From here, we won't consider atmospheric pressure. Uh, yes, Harsha, can you repeat? From here, we won't consider atmospheric pressure. No, no, we are actually considering it. Atmospheric pressure, we have to consider it. It's just that, no, P0 will be here also. From this common, P0 will also be here. So this will be ultimately cancelled. That's why I didn't write. From okay. here also, P0, P0, P0. From everywhere, it will be cancelled. Atmospheric pressure, you have to consider. Um, so the pressure in both the arms should always be equal? Pressure is equal, yes. Till the time you are talking about hydrostatics, pressure is equal. That's okay. why we have equated this. This is uh, according to Pascal's law also, the next law, which says the fact only that pressure exerted by liquid column is same everywhere. Ma'am, in the last, we are using the relative density of the spirit. This one? Um, the 0 0.8. Mm -hmm. The relative density of the spirit we are using. Ma'am, we don't That's have That's what I was that. saying. In this question, we are using relative density of the spirit because it has given that in the previous question. So, we have to link this. So, density of the spirit we are using. We have, okay, I understood you saying why are we using just 0 0.8? Yes, yes. Uh, you have to multiply it to 10 to the power uh, 3. Okay. Density of spirit is already given, no? I think. Yeah. This is relative density of spirit. Just multiply it with density of water. Right, right. I understood what you're asking. Multiply, please add it. I thought you were asking about data. 
10 to the power 3 will be there because here relative density we won't use. No? Here we are using individual densities of water also, of mercury also. Uh, 